Hi everyone, hope you all doing well. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about best practices for data collection rules. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about each and every option related to data collection rule. However, in this video as well, I'm going to invest some time in explaining you certain key aspects that you keep in mind before you go ahead and create your data collection rules deployment strategies okay so the very first aspect is a single data collection rule can be scoped to multiple machines a single machine can be scoped to multiple data collection rules as well as with the dcr you can also ingest data across subscriptions now what do i mean by this that let's say i have a machine in subscription a and my workspace exists in subscription b as long as both of my subscriptions trust same Azure Active Directory, I can ingest logs from my machine which exists in subscription A to the workspace which exists in subscription B. Now let me walk you through with a couple of scenarios to make you understand how you should plan your data collection rule strategy. Think about a requirement where you have to capture performance monitoring logs syslog and windows event logs from all of your windows and linux machines and the requirement is that you need to use one single workspace for all the data ingestion in this case you will need two data collection rules and let me tell you how exactly you can achieve this so think about a scenario where you have onboarded all of your machines to azure with the help of azure arc enabled servers because that's a kind of a prerequisite for data collection rule to be scoped to a machine, which means a DCR can only be scoped to either Azure VMs or Azure Arc enabled servers, okay? Now, while creating these two data collection rules in the data source section, be it performance, event, or syslog, I mean, in both of these two rules and in both of these two conditions, you have to choose one single workspace and then you have to apply uh, the data collection rules to the respective machines okay so how the data ingestion will happen that if this particular machine which exists in azure tries to send either performance or event logs it will get ingested to this particular workspace similarly if the linux machine which is sitting in your on-prem environment tries to send performance and syslog that will also get ingested to this particular workspace now let's talk about another scenario where the requirement is same. You have to ingest Windows and uh, Linux logs across your enterprise. But this time you want to keep performance data and security events data or syslog data into a separate log analytics workspace altogether. And for all obvious reasons, you will be using two log analytics workspace for all the data ingestion. In this case also, you need two data collection rules. And let me explain you how. Okay. So this setup remains same. The only change is in the configuration that you will be doing for data source. Okay. So the, the DCR that you have created for Windows will be applied to all the Windows machines and the DCR that you have created for Linux platform will get applied to all the Linux machine across your enterprise. Now, in this case, how the data ingestion will happen that if this machine tries to send performance logs, then it will go to the first workspace. However, if this machine tries to send event logs, then it will go to the second workspace. Now, in case of Linux machine, which is there in your on-prem environment, if this particular machine tries to send performance data, then it will go to the first workspace. Similarly, if this machine tries to send syslog data, then it will go to the second workspace. Now let's talk about a slightly more complicated scenario where the requirement is same. You have to make sure you capture logs from all the Windows and Linux devices across your enterprise. But in this case, you have to keep data retention period different for critical assets. Now, what do I mean by this? That if the data ingestion is happening for critical assets, then it should be retained for two years and rest all the logs should be retained for only one year. And in this case, again, you are using a two log analytics workspace for all the data ingestion. Now, 
the very first thing that should exist is a logical separation i mean you should have some process in place wherein you can create a distribution in terms of what are critical servers and what are non critical servers two examples for this kind of implementation can be that either you are using tagging or you are making sure that you are keeping all your critical servers in one specific resource group all together in a nutshell you need separation okay so assume these are all my critical servers which exist across hybrid cloud environments and these are my non critical servers again they also have existence across hybrid cloud environments now for this particular scenario you need four data collection rule two for critical servers and two data collection rule for non critical servers okay as well as you need two workspace okay now let me show you how exactly data ingestion is going to happen okay so this rule uh, which i have created for critical servers will be applied to all my windows machine and this rule which i have created for my critical servers will get applied to all of my linux machine and the same concept goes for non critical machines as well however when i'm creating the workspace then for the first workspace for these three tables i have set the retention period for 2 years and for the second workspace for these three tables i have set the retention period for 1 year now in this case the moment these data collection rules will be applied to the respective machines ama will get installed and the logical data ingestion will start happening so as per these rules the data ingestion will happen to this particular workspace in this particular table similarly for these machines as per the data collection rule the data ingestion will happen to this particular table of my second workspace and the concept is same for event table as well as syslog okay now there is a slightly more mature way of handling the scenario and that is more about related to usage of one single workspace so again my entire requirement is same but instead of using two different workspace i'm using a single log analytics workspace for all the data ingestion so in this case what i have done is i have replicated the schema of these three tables into another custom table altogether okay so these three tables that you see over here these are custom tables and while i am creating data collection rule with the help of apis i have made a change i have added a kind of transformation in the data flow section because of which if windows machines which are my critical servers they try to ingest data this information will flow to event underscore one table instead of the table which is there by default now again for the same workspace itself since we can set retention period for each and every table for these three custom table i have set the retention period for 2 years and for these three tables i have set the retention period for 1 year okay so this is a much mature way of handling the same situation now this is a scenario that i will be showcasing in this series as it involves below mentioned line items usage of azure rest api replicating schema of default table into a custom table altogether and then customization of data collection rule with the help of kql and a transformation section in the data flow schema okay now let's talk about some of the best practices that you should follow a single data collection rule must not be created for all the data ingestion now what do i mean by this don't try to create a single rule for every platform it's not practical because assume that if you have a single data collection rule that's been scoped to all the machines it will become really hard for you to go ahead and plan a change like get applied to every machine okay now the next thing is for every requirement i mean this is the other end of the same scenario do not try to create a data collection rule for every dedicated requirement that you have now if you are trying to plan a strategy for large enterprises this process will become a nightmare for you and as long as possible okay try to make sure that you ingest all data to one single workspace even if you have multiple subscriptions that are trusting a single tenant okay now if you have multiple tenants and you have multiple subscriptions then it's a different scenario altogether you need to use work 
workspace manager for that but uh, if you have multiple subscriptions and they all are trusting one single tenant then try to keep all the data ingestion into a single workspace altogether now the very first approach should always start by knowing what type of data you want to get ingested okay now this term is also referred as observability scope imagine you want to capture performance logs from all the servers running critical application in this case my observability scope will be all server vms plus performance logs now if you keep a single workspace this can help you save a lot of cost and i'll explain you how imagine if you have to capture performance monitoring data and the data ingestion is around 20 gb and security data ingestion is around 80 gb if you select pay as you go then you know what will be the cost but if you can choose a commitment tier let's say of 100 gb this can help you save a lot of cost so this was all about knowing the best practices which are related to data collection rule different scenarios related to data collection rule and some of the key aspects that you have to keep in mind while you are defining your data collection rule deployment strategy in the next video we are going to get started with the creation of a dcr for windows as a platform and we'll see how everything is going to work end to end with the help of my lab itself okay so if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community